it doesn't turn on. So it's out of use and no way to uh, give it some charge. So we're gonna troubleshoot it and try to make it work at the end of it. First thing that we're gonna do is opening, taking everything apart, opening the back panel and make sure that all the connections are clean and connected where they're supposed to be. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start off with a plastic, uh, kind of like a screwdriver, but a flat screwdriver so I can uh, pry it open. Since it's plastic, it's not going to damage the plastic. If you use a metal one, it will make some dents. We don't want to do that. So let's start off with one corner and then go around the whole thing. So I pry it open and I'm going to take a pick, guitar pick, and be careful with the button, power button, and the charging port on the other side. But other than that, just go around it and pry it open. Just plastic, so you hear the clicks as uh, they come apart. Careful with the buttons again. There we go. Back panels off, as you can see, and we're gonna first is gonna the battery and the uh, where's the power the power button right here we're gonna disconnect it from the motherboard and connect it again let's see if that works all right okay so now we're gonna disconnect the battery from the motherboard and then we're gonna disconnect the power connector from the motherboard yeah, so we can clean it do it carefully from both sides so that you won't des damage the cables or the power connector on the motherboard. Alright, now we're gonna disconnect the power connector from the motherboard. Good. Now that we have it disconnected, we're gonna get some isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna clean it up to make sure that there's no debris or anything uh, damaging the connection or obstructing the connection just put it in there rub it in and wait until it dries like a few seconds and then we're gonna plug uh, connect it all back in and we're gonna test it so these are these are all ready to go you have all your parts and pieces that you need so they're all preset and you can just build back here on the table alright now that it's all connected we're gonna plug it in and let's see if it works. There you go. That was the problem.
it was just probably disconnected or uh, dirty and now we see that it works Kindle Fire comes back on and we didn't even have to turn it on all right now, now that we know that it works we're gonna unplug it and we're gonna put everything back together before that we're gonna just clean out the connectors from the power and the and the volume connector so when we open it the, there was nothing there was some debris probably let's clean it out and put it back in make sure it goes the right way where the speakers are so when you put the connectors in the right place so you'll when you're gonna turn it on it works All right now to put it back together it's just like we took it apart pry it apart we're just gonna push it back in together all the clips so they're all in you're gonna clip, uh, hear them until all the clips are in and you don't see any gaps on the, on the side give it a little pressure until you don't hear any more clips and no more gaps on each side all right now we turn it out around plug it back in